The subject of education and the basic education department in its 2022 diagnostic report on the performance of grade 12 learners revealed that over 70 percent of pupils achieved only 50 percent in mathematics to address the challenges pupils face a young visionary has developed an online platform to revolutionize education in south africa i'm now joined by lisedi mochadibane founder of free notes good afternoon to you lisedi thanks so much for joining us of course with the research that you had to conduct before you came up with mm -hmm. the online platform was essentially what drove a lot of pupils from dropping mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, either because the methodology or the teaching standard, etc. Just uh, highlight some of these uh, challenges that you uh, engaged with, with learners regarding their struggle with mathematics. Okay, so I'll bring up a, a really daunting statistic that I got from Business Tech, which is that less than 30% of matriculants in 2021 took math. And out of that 30%, only half of them passed it, right? And that is a issue that I feel we've all been aware of as South Africans for a very long time, that maths has been a serious problem in this country. And, you know, there's so many, like, structural issues that are, you know, impossible for me as a young man to solve. But after intensive research in the, in the area, there were three issues I identified that I could solve, right? And the first one is that students, they find math boring or they harbor resentment for it. And if you hate the subject and you find it boring, you won't be able to go the extra mile, mm. right? And, oh, sorry. Um, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry, okay then. Yeah. Um, and another thing, the second thing was that students don't understand the key principles, right? So some of them end up just memorizing the memo. And if you get the exact same question, that will work. But then if the question is tweaked even slightly you will struggle okay and, and, and the language barrier perhaps I mean there's been mm -hmm. a lot extensive debate whether we should have uh, indigenous languages or mother tongue um, uh, mm -hmm. as a medium of instruction or whether that would assist in understanding math and even science and I agree with that wholeheartedly because most of this country, I think the beauty of it is that we have so many diverse languages, right? And most people, English is not even their first or even second or even third home language, right? So I think that's another thing I took into consideration when making my online platform. I wanted to make the English so simple that regardless of how your, your inclination or your level in English, you can understand the platform. Yeah, and, and mm -hmm. also how the subject is uh, taught, as you were saying. You know, there mm -hmm. had been, um, depending on your... Uh, or own faculties or, or how strong um, you, you were in mathematics. You were either mm -hmm. told it's for a certain class <laughs> of, of students yes. and if you're not at that caliber then you should rather take commerce or any other subjects for that matter. So mm -hmm. how then do we change that narrative or, or that paradigm that says every child has got the capacity or ability to do math if it's taught in a particular way? And I'm so happy you brought that up because I'll give you a very short example, you know. Um, when I was in school, I was always a mid 80s student when it came to math until I got to grade 9. And my grade 9 math teacher wasn't really the best. And I would struggle a lot just to get the same 80% took more effort. And then in grade 10, I had this amazing teacher. I love her to this day, Ms. Hollenbo. She made math so fun to learn, you know. She made amazing notes in her class. She challenged us a lot of the time. And she pushed me from a mid 80s student to a student who was getting 90s and 100 you know and it just shows that there's no such thing as you're not good enough for math you know if you have the right teacher and the right mindset you could go from a 30 student to a 50 student you could go from a 50 student to a 70 student you could go from an 80 student to a 100 student yeah and, and you, you were saying that you, you alone can't just fix it you need yes. the entire system um, and stakeholders to come together we'll come to the mm -hmm. platform in a minute I just want us to also look at you were saying the quality of mm -hmm. teachers as well where they either in some schools become generalists Mm -hmm. you know not necessarily specializing in particular subjects True. which in itself could be problematic in how they teach mm -hmm. uh, math and I feel to a certain extent we can't blame the teachers per se because I do feel we're still reeling from the effects of Bantu education. A lot of the teachers we have, you know, came through that time. And also schools don't have the resources or capacity, you know, to pay teachers, you know, enough for, their, for it to be sustainable. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people who would have the passion for teaching end up not going that route. And also they, don't, they just don't have the funding and capacity, you know, for, to be able to, you know, teach um, at that standard of level which is why you can tell the difference between the private schools that have the funding and the schools that um, don't have the funding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, internet connectivity in itself is also a challenge where many students mm -hmm. are left out um, because of the gaps in the digital or access to the mm -hmm. digital platforms. You've made this platform absolutely free, gratis uh, free, mm -hmm. as they say, and because you have that passion where you want to lift um, mm -hmm. other young people as well. 
to, yes. to access quality education. Um, why did it bother you so much? Why don't you just go ahead having a lavish, successful, um, you know, enchanted life without mm -hmm. you having to concern yourself about others? Um, I think for me, it's two things mainly, right? I've always wanted to help people in general. And when I was younger, I was always told about the poor state of math in the country. And I thought that, you know what, if I get high enough marks, I'll increase the average by just a bit and I'll be doing my part, right? And then I realized that actually that's not enough because I got to a point where I graduated from Vets at about 20 years old and I was like you know what I've done well for myself I'm in a good position I worked hard to get here uh, and I come from the township of Fosleras right and I looked at my peers and I was like I worked hard to get here that's why I'm here but then I thought to myself if it wasn't for my parents sacrificing as much as they did and taking me to the best schools in the country mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't be where I am now I would have followed the same tragic fate as a lot of the people that I grew up with you know and I realized that that shouldn't be the case you being successful should not be dependent on you being lucky that your parents care about your education mm -hmm. right so I felt a strong need to do everything in my power to try and solve that so that 10 years from now if a kid is born in my township they're not going to be it's not going to be a matter of luck that they go on and achieve great things yeah. it's going to be a matter of fact yeah and, and the fact is also that a lot of people may change their trajectory of whatever profession they wanted to follow mm -hmm. because uh, of their inability to grasp math or it wasn't presented in a way that they understood it easier mm -hmm. uh, you know one may may have wanted to become a doctor but then come mm -hmm. as you're saying where well, you have to select subjects and your teacher tells you know you're not going to make it uh, mm -hmm. too far with with mathematics and and that's a, a sad reality True. Um, that you might have to opt for a different career than what you initially um, set out to do yeah I, i'm so happy you brought that up because Math is literally a gateway subject to all those big um, careers. But I think another thing that people don't actually grasp, right, is that it's not only for those subjects, it's also for many other aspects. You know, a quick example is that math, people keep saying, oh, I haven't used Pythagoras in five years, I haven't used geometry in five years, but actually it's more about seeing a problem, seeing the inputs, and thinking critically to solve that problem. So you might not directly use Pythagoras in your life, but you will use it no matter where you're working. If you're working at Batu, for example, you've got a couple customers, they all want to buy the same shoe, but you have a limited amount of that shoe. So you have to think, okay, how will I be able to sell them the shoes even though I don't have them all now I have to solve that problem okay let me go and check the system see maybe if there's another part to store nearby where I can cover for the other person right so yes. very very <laughs> interesting just uh, in, in wrapping um, in terms of the platform itself the, mm -hmm. the design is obviously uh, meant to be um, easily accessible and understandable as well where you break down complex formulas into mm -hmm. a more um, simpler format just explain that quickly in closing Okay, so in closing, essentially, the platform, you know, it covers from grade 7 all the way until matric, and it breaks down the principles in an easy-to-understand format. And it also has examples with it that explain each step-by-step step why the right answer is right, and more importantly, why the wrong answer is wrong. So students actually understand what they're doing, and they're not just regurgitating what's on the, on the notes, essentially. Yeah. That's really been an education. I wish I met you 20 years or odd ago <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, interacted with the platform. But Lisa, thank you so much for coming into studio. Really, no, I really appreciate it. No, thank it. you for having me on such short notice. You're most welcome. That's Lisa mm -hmm. Mochadi Bane, founder of Free Notes, a revolutionary online platform to provide solutions for students struggling with mathematics. And you can visit the site. That's freenotes.co.za. One, one word, freenotes.co.za.